Hello everyone, this is Sir Alan Medino and for this day we will be going to tackle about Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, Week 1, Addition and Subtraction of Fraction. Are you ready? Now let's start! But bago tayo magsimula, ay nais muna natin pasalamatan ang Department of Education Division of Lano del Norte, specifically the school's division superintendent, Dr. Edelberto L. Opelinaria, CESO 5, and also to the development team of the module, the writer, Mom Ingrid and Peñaflor, the illustrator and the layout artist, the proofreader, in-house content and language editors, the management team from Chip chairperson, co-chairperson, and to the members and also to the regional evaluator, thank you so much for coming up with this module so that everyone, every learner can learn. Now, for our topic this morning, the lesson one is the addition of fractions. So what you need to know, after studying this lesson, you are expected to add the similar fractions add mixed numbers, and develop perseverance in doing tasks with speed and accuracy. Pero bago natin pag-aralan on how are we going to add fractions, you have to perform the indicated operation and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your activity or in your notebook. So, ito na. Iti-check natin muna kung gaano ba ka 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 kalaki ang naintindihan nyo sa addition of fraction. So number one, what is two-fourths added to one-third? A. Three-twelfths B. Five-six C. Three-six or D. One-fourth Number two, what is the sum of three-fourth and four-fifth? A. 1 and 11, 20. B. 1 and 1, 20. C. 1 and 2, 20. Or D. 3, 10. Number 3. Evaluate 5, 6 plus 4, 9. A. 7, 18. B. 1 and 1, 18. C. 1 and 5, 18, or D, 1, 6. Number 4, 2, 6 plus 1 third plus 1 half equals A, 14, 12, B, 7, 6, C, 1 and 1, 6, D, 1, 4. Okay, to continue, number 5. What is 1 and 2 thirds added to 2 and 4 fifth? A. 3 7 fifth. B. 4 7 15. C. 4 and 2 fifth. Or D. 4 and 2 15. Number 6. What is the sum of 1 third plus 4 plus 1 fourth? A. 4 and 7 twelve. B. 3 and 1, 12. C, 2 and 1, 12. D, 4 and 1, 4. Number 7. What is 1 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 third? A, 4 and 2 sixth. B, 3 and 5 sixth. C, 2 and 5 sixth. Or D, 3 and 2 sixths. And now, for number 8 to 10, you have to evaluate the fractions and show your complete solution and express your answer in lowest term. Write your answer again in your activity or in your mathematics notebook. For number 8, 2 third plus 1 and 21 equals N. Number 9. 3 and 2, 11 
plus 1 and 122 equals n. And number 10, 12 and 5 6 plus 9 and 3 4 equals n. Answer. You have to show your complete solution. Don't forget that, grade 6. You can do it. Under what's in in your module, merong activity 1 dyan. Ang title, Who Am I? Small Yet Deadly. So, ito yung clue na magbibigay sa inyo ng tamang sagot. You have to choose the correct letter of the mathematical sentence that represents the following fraction strips to reveal the answer. So, merong mga fraction strips dyan. Number 1 up to number 5. Ngayon, bilangin ninyo in every number kung ilan ba ang number of rectangle. Ngayon, Kung ilan ang number of rectangle, automatically, ito yung magiging denominator. Ngayon, bilangin nyo ulit kung ilan sa rectangle ang merong shade. At yung merong shade, yun ang magiging numerator. Example, number 1. Merong apat na rectangle. So, ang number 4 ay magiging denominator or ang number na nasa baba. Ngayon, sa apat na rectangle ay merong tatlong shaded. Automatically, yung tatlong shaded ay magiging numerator or yung number na makikita natin sa taas. So, magiging 3 ang nasa taas at 4 ang nasa baba, so magiging 3 fourth. Plus, ang pangalawang rectangle ay merong dalawang rectangle. So, ang 2 automatically ay magiging denominator. Ngayon, ang nasa taas naman ay merong isang shaded. So, ang number 1 ay automatically magiging numerator. So, magiging 1 half. Ngayon, merong mga letters na nandyan. R, U, A, S, I, B, at saka V. Hanapin ninyo ang magiging sagot sa number 1. Halimbawa, kung ang sagot sa number 1 ay letter B, isulat nyo dyan sa number 1 ang letter B. Nakuha nyo ba grade 6? Very good. Start now. Now, under what's new, meron tayong activity number 2. The title of the activity is Kill the Virus. This is now the situation. When the news about the novel coronavirus came out, Aling Rosa conducted general cleaning in her home. So, nung, nag, nung kumalat ang coronavirus, nag-clean, nag-general cleaning si Aling Rosa. She mixed one half gallons of chlorine to eight and ten gallons of water to make disinfectant liquid. After mixing, she wondered how many gallons of disinfectant solution she has in all. Can you tell how many gallons of disinfectant liquid Aling Rosa have made? Show using blocks below to represent the gallon of chlorine and gallon of water. No, ngayon, ang gallon ng chlorine daw doon ay one and a half. So, ibig sabihin, ano yung denominator? Dalawa. So, ang gagawin ninyo ay ang chlorine na yan ay gawan, gawin nyo ng dalawang hatiin nyo sa dalawa. At ang number na nasa taas ay 1. At ang yung 1 na yan ay yan yung number na gagawin ninyo ng shaded part. At sa water naman, 8 is to 10. So, ang water ay hatiin nyo sa 10 at ang walo dyan ay isi-shade ninyo. So, yan. Tingnan natin kung sino ang makakakuha ng activity na ito. Okay, to answer the question in how many gallons of disinfectant liquid Aling Rosa have made, we need to add 1 half and 8 10. Using fraction strips as illustration, we have, so ito na. So, para natin malaman kung gaano ba karaming disinfectant ang nagawa ni Aling Rosa, ay kailangan natin muna isilang i-add. So, gagawa muna tayo ng fraction strip. Titingnan natin, ang chlorine ay 1 half. Kung titingnan ninyo ay merong dalawang uh, rectangle dyan. So, dalawa. 
Kasi ang denominator natin ay 2, kaya hatiin natin sa dalawa. At kung napapansin ninyo, sa dalawa ang isa lamang ang nilagyan ng shade. Bakit? Kasi ito yung naka-indicate sa taas na numero na 1. Kung ano ang numero na makikita natin sa taas, ay yun din ang number na kailangan nating i-shade. Since 1 ang nakita natin, so isa dapat ang ating isi-shade. Ngayon, sa water, 8 is to 10. Kung nakikita ninyo, kung bibilangin natin, ilang rectangle meron dyan? Tama, 10. Ngayon, ilang rectangle dapat? O naging square na siya. Ilang square dapat ang ating isi-shade? Very good. Walo. So, bibilangin natin ngayon kung walo ba sa sampo ang ating sinade. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Very good. So, magiging ganito na ngayon ang fraction strips natin. Okay, so this is now the question. Can we combine directly the two fractions? Pwede man natin i-combine na agad-agad ang dalawang fractions? Take note that these fractions can be added only when they are of the same size. How can we make these two fractions be of the same size then? Can you think of ways on how to do it? Okay, maa-add lang natin ang dalawang fraction kung pareho sila ng size. Kung hindi sila pareho ng size, hindi natin sila agad-agad na maa-add. Ngayon, ang tanong, paano ba natin i-add ang mga fraction na pareho ang size? May naisip ba kayong paraan? Sige, ipakita ninyo. Now, going back to the example, you have to study the illustration below. Chlorine has one half and five. 10. Tingnan natin ngayon kung pareho ba ang kanilang size. The illustration in page 3 on 1 half is equals to 5, 10 shows equivalent fractions. We have to do this so we can have similar fractions. Now, we can combine two fractions. Okay. Ang chlorine daw kanina ay 1 half. Ngayon, kailangan natin siyang gawing 5-10 para maging similar fraction siya. Ano ba yung similar fraction? Pag sinabi natin similar fraction, ito yung mga fraction na pareho ang denominator. Example, sa chlorine, ang 1 half kanina, since pareho lang ang 5-10, so naging 5-10 siya. Ang water, 8 and 10. Ang denominator ng chlorine at water ay parehong 10. Kaya ngayon, Pwede na natin silang i-combine kasi naging similar fraction na sila. Ngayon, total gallons of disinfectant liquid, 13 over 10 or 1 and 3 10. So ito, therefore, Aling Rosa has a total of 1 and 3 10 gallons of disinfectant liquid. Bakit naging 1 and 3 10? Ito na, bilangin natin ngayon ang lahat ng may shaded formula. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> so, so, magiging 13. Ngayon, ilan ba ang denominator? 10. So, magiging 13 over 10. Or, bakit naging may 1 na dito? Kasi, hindi pwede na mas malaki si numerator kesa kay denominator. Dapat mas malaki si denominator kesa kay numerator. Dito sa 13 over 10, hindi siya pwede kasi mas malaki si 13 na numerator kesa kay 10 na denominator. Paano natin ito ngayon maging mixed number? So, 13 divided by 10 magiging 1 and 3, 10. Okay, ngayon, meron na namang ibang example. 1 half plus 8 over 10 equals N. We need to follow the steps below. Now, ang tanong ko, pareho ba sila na fraction? Pareho ba ang kanilang denominator? Hindi. Para malaman natin, para makuha natin kung saan sila nagkakapareho, ay i-follow muna natin ang mga steps na ito para ma-add natin ang fraction. Solution. 
Step 1. Change the similar fraction to similar fractions by getting the least common denominator or LCD. Ito yung pinakaunang tatandaan ng lahat. Kung ang dalawang fraction ay hindi pareho ang denominators nila, ibig sabihin sila ay dissimilar fraction. Hindi natin sila agad-agad na ia-add. Dapat magkapareho muna ang kanilang denominator bago natin sila ma-add. Paano ba natin hahanapin or paano ba natin gawing pareho ang kanilang denominator? Simple, hanapin natin ang kanilang LCD. Ano yung LCD, sir? Ang LCD ay ang least common denominator. Ibig sabihin, maghanap tayo ng number na pwedeng makadivide sa kanilang dalawa, kay 2 at saka kay 10. Ngayon, ililista natin ang mga number na magmumultiply kay 2. Nakita natin dyan, how to get the LCD? List the multiples of 2. Sino ba ang mga number na pwedeng makamultiply kay 2? Pwedeng si 2, pwedeng si 4, pwedeng si 6, pwedeng si 8, pwedeng si 10, pwedeng si 12, and so on and so forth. Ngayon, you have to list also the multiples of 10. Ano ba yung pwedeng multiply natin kay 10? Nandiyan si 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Ngayon, base sa paglista natin ng kanilang different multiples, hanapin natin yung number na pinakamaliit na magkapareho silang dalawa. Sa, na sa multiple of 2 ay nandyan si 10. Sa multiple of 10 ay nandyan din si 10. Automatically, take the least common multiplies of 2 and 10, that is 10. Therefore, para maging similar fraction sila, gamitin natin si 10. So, magiging ganito na. 1 half is equals to blank over 10. 8, 10 is equals to blank over 10. So, pareho na ang kanilang denominator na 10. Magpapatuloy tayo para sa ating step 2. Okay, nakita na natin kanina ang step 1 na gawin muna natin o hanapin muna natin ang kanilang LCD. Now, change each of the fractions to each equivalent fraction whose denominator is equals to LCD 10. Letter A, 1 half divide the LCD 10 by denominator 2. The answer is 5. Then, multiply numerator and denominator by 5. So, ito, 1 times 5 times 2 times 5. So, the answer is 5 over 10. So, 5 10 is the equivalent fraction of 1 half. So, pareho ang size ni 5 10 at saka ni 1 half. Step 3. Nakita na natin na pareho na ang kanilang denominator, kaya natinawag na silang similar fraction. So, ia-add na natin sila. 5, 10 plus 8, 10 is equals to 5 plus 8 equals 13. Then, remain ang 10. So, maging 13 over 10 or 1 and 3, 10. Now, another example. What is the sum of 4, 9, and 3 fifth? So, the solution, step 1, tandaan parate na ang step 1 is to get the LCD. 4, 9 plus 3, 5 equals N. So, tingnan natin, ililista muna natin ang multiple ni 9. Itong 9, ito yung denominator ng unang fraction of 4, 9. So, ang mga multiple niya is 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. Ngayon, ang 5 naman mula sa 3 fifth ay kukunin natin ng kanyang multiples. So, the answers are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. Now, ano ba ang pareho na nasa kay 9 at nasa kay 5 na multiples? 45. So, the, the 45 is the least common multiple of 9 and 5. 
Therefore, ang LCD ni 9 at saka ni 5 ay walang iba kundi 45. Now, for the step 2, change each of the following fractions to its equivalent fraction whose denominator is equals to the LCD of 45. So, yung kaninang fraction ay iibahin natin na equivalent pa rin sa kanya, na pareho pa rin ang pagkatotal sa kanya. Gamit na natin ngayon yung LCD na 45 at gagawin na natin ngayon uh, denominator. Si 4, 9 kanina ay gagawa na natin ng denominator na 45. Divide the LCD 45 by denominator 9. So, magiging 45 divided by 9 equals to 5. Ngayon, si 5, i-multiply natin sa numerator and denominator by 5. So, magiging 4, 9 times 5 over 5. So, 4 times 5, magiging 20 9 times 5, magiging 45. So, ang dating 4, 9 ay pareho na kay 20 over 45. Ganun din ang gawin natin kay 3 fifth. I-divide natin si 45 sa denominator na 5. The answer is 9. So, si 9 ay i-multiply natin sa numerator at saka sa denominator. So, 3 times 9 equals 27 and 5 times 9 equals 45. So, kanina ang 3 fifth ay equivalent na siya or pareho na kay 27 and 45. Ngayon, sa step 3, since nakuha na natin na similar ang fractions na yon, pareho na ang denominator ng dalawa na 45, naging 20 over 45 plus 27 over 45. Simple na ang gagawin natin, i-add na natin sila kasi pareho na yung denominator. 20 plus 27 over 45. So the answer is 47 over 45. Ngayon, mas malaki ang numerator kaysa sa denominator, kaya kailangan natin siyang i-convert into mixed number. So, 47 divided by 45 is equals to 1 and 2 over 45. Therefore, ang sum nilang dalawa ay 1 and 2, 45. Now, for example number 2. Find the sum of 2 7 plus 1 4 plus 5 14. So, the solution following the steps above, ang una natin gagawin ay kailangan muna nating hanapin ang LCD. So, naglista tayo ng mga multiples ni 14, ni 7, at saka ni 4. So, sa step 14, ang multiple niya is 14 and 28. Sa 7 naman, 7, 14, 21, and 28. Sa 4 naman, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. Therefore, alin ang number na meron silang tatlo? 28. So, the LCD is 28. So, magiging ganito na. 2 over 7, 1 and 4 plus 5, 14 equals blank 28 plus blank 28 plus blank 28. So, nakita natin na pareho na ang kanilang denominator kasi nahanap na natin ang least common denominator. So, magiging, ito na, 28 divided by 7, so 4. So, 2 times 4 equals 8. So, pareho pa rin, 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 7 times 1, 7. So, 7 over 28. Sa pangatlong fraction, 28 divided by 14, 2. Then, 2 times 5 is equals to 10. Ngayon, ia-add natin ngayon ang tatlo. 8 plus 7 plus 10 over 28. So, ia-add natin sila. The answer is 25 and 28. 25 over 28. So, based on our examples, how to add dissimilar fractions? Again, ano ba yung dissimilar fraction? Ito yung mga fractions na hindi pareho yung denominator. Paano ba natin sila i-add? Una, change dissimilar fractions to similar fraction. Use idea of equivalent fraction. So, ito na. Yung dissimilar fraction ay gawin nating similar fraction. Kasi hindi tayo makakapag-add kung hindi sila magiging similar fraction. Now, nakuha na natin, nagkapareho na yung kanilang denominator. 
i-add na natin yung fraction. And then, you have to change the sum to lowest term. Ano ba yung lowest term, sir? Baka meron pang number na pwede makadivide kay numerator at denominator. Pareho silang madivide ng number na yon. Yun ang lowest term nilang dalawa. Ngayon, ang sunod nating example ay paano ba tayo mag-a-add ng mixed number? Ano ba yung mixed number, sir? Ito yung my fraction at merong whole number. Example, find the sum of 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 1 eighth. So, pag sinabing mixed number, meron siyang fraction form at meron din siyang whole number. Ano yung whole number ng 2 and 3 fourth? Simple, number 2. At ang fraction niya ay 3 fourth. Pag nagsama, si whole number at si fraction, ang tawag sa kanila ay mixed number. Now, what is the solution of the sum of 2 and 3 fourth plus 1 and 1 eighth? Ito na, 2 and 3 fourth plus 1 and 1 eighth equals, ia-add muna natin yung mga whole numbers. 2 plus 1 plus, ia-add natin yung mga fraction. 3 fourth plus 1 eighth. They have to be added separately. Ang dapat ang i-add ay yung mga whole numbers at sa whole number ng kabilang fraction. Hindi pwede na i-add natin si whole number at si fraction. Dapat puro whole number ng magkabilang fraction ang ating i-add. Now, hindi sila pareho ng denominator. So, kailangan nating hanapin ulit kung hindi pareho ang denominator si LCD. So, ililista ulit natin ano ba yung multiple ng 4 at ano ba yung multiple ng 8. So, sa 4, it's 4, 8, 12 at sa 8 naman, 8, 16, 24. So, merong number na pareho silang dalawang multiple. Ang number na yon is 8. Therefore, ang least common denominator ni 4 at ni 8 ay 8. Ito na. Equals 2 plus 1 plus 8 divided by 8 or 8 divided by 4 equals 2 times 3 equals 6. Then 8 divided by 8 equals 1 times 1 equals 1. So magiging 6, 8 plus 1, 8. Pareho na ang kanilang denominator. Therefore, similar fraction na siya. Ngayon, ia-add na talaga natin ang whole numbers. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then, 6 plus 1 equals 7. Then, automatically, gamitin natin si 8 na LCD. So, magiging 3 and 7, 8. Nakuha? Very good. Okay, so meron na namang isa pang example. Find the value of 5, 8, and 9 plus 3, 5, and 6. So, again, unahin natin sa pag-add ang mga whole numbers, 5 plus 3, Bago ang mga fraction na 8 over 9 plus 5, 6. Pareho ba ang kanilang denominator? Hindi. Kung hindi pareho ang denominator, ay kailangan natin hanapin si least common denominator. Paano natin hanapin si least common denominator? Kailangan natin magsulat ng multiples ng 9 at ni 6. So, ang multiples ni 9 ay 9, 18, at saka 27, and so on and so forth. So, ang multiple naman ni 6 ay 6, 12, and 18. Ngayon, nakita na natin na meron silang parehong multiple. Pinakamaliit na magkapareho sa 9 at 6 ay walang iba kung hindi si 18. So, ngayon, ang kanilang denominator na gagamitin natin ay 18 na kasi ito yung kanilang least common denominator. Now, si 18 ay i-divide natin kay 9. 18 divided by 9 equals 2 times 8 equals 16. 18 divided by 6 is equals to 3 times 5 is equals to 15. So, magiging ganito na. 16 over 18 plus 15 over 18. So, i-add na natin. 5 plus 3, yung mga whole numbers. 5 plus 3 equals 8. At i-add naman natin yung mga fraction. 16 plus 15 equals 31. So, magiging 8 plus 31 over 18. Kung napapansin ninyo, ang fraction ay mas mataas si numerator 
kaysa kay denominator. So, hindi yan po pwede. Kailangan natin silang i-reduce into lowest term. So, i-de-divide natin ulit si 31 divided by 18. So, ang answer is 1 and 13, 18. Meron nang isa pang whole number. So, meron na tayong whole number na 8. Dadagdagan ng isa pa one whole number. So, the answer is 9, 13 over 18. Okay, paano ba natin i-add yung mga mixed numbers? Number one, group the whole numbers and the fractions separately. So, ibig sabihin, ihiwalay natin yung mga whole number at ihiwalay din natin yung mga fraction. Change the similar fraction, pangalawa. So, kailangan natin i-change ang mga dissimilar fraction para maging similar fraction. How to? Hanapin si LCD at ang multiples ng mga number na yon. Next step, you have to add the whole number and the fraction separately. And the next step, add the whole number and the fraction to form mixed number. And then change the sum to the lowest term. Okay, ngayon, ay susubukin natin ang inyong magaling. What does a Philippine Eagle lawyer study? So, add the fractions below to know the answer. See in the key box the equivalent letter, then write the letter in the space below to find the answer. Okay, merong mga iba't ibang letter na magiging sagot sa mga katanungan. Example, number one, if ever ang sagot sa number one ay nasa letter H, yung letter H na yan, one, one is to one eight, so, sa letter H, ang ilalagay nyo sa number 1. So, hanggang mabuo natin ang mga number at ang, ang word na kailangan nating hulaan. Are you ready? Very good. Remember, may mga rules sa pag-add. Kung hindi pareho ang fraction, dapat ay gawin natin itong similar fraction at hanapin natin ang kanilang LCD. Paano ba natin hanapin ang LCD? Maglilista ka ng mga multiple ng parehong number at ano yung pinakamaliit na number na meron sila sa kanilang multiple, yun ang gagawin nating LCD. Now, I will be going to ask you, activity 4, give the process or steps in adding or subtracting fractions by completely answering the questions below. Okay, ito na. Kailangan yung isulat yung mga process. Number 1, how to add dissimilar fractions. So, ano yung process sa pag-add natin ng mga dissimilar fractions? Number 2, how to add mixed numbers. Paano natin i-add yung mga mixed number? Isulat ninyo yung mga steps or mga process kung paano natin i-add ang mga ganyang klaseng fractions. For what I can do item, read the problem and answer. Use fraction strips. Ito yung fraction strips ang gagamitin natin. Yung i-divide natin yung one whole na na rectangle na yan para maging kung ano yung gustong ipabigay o if maging fraction strips niya. Mary is preparing for her final exam and she must study a total of 3 hours a week. So she studied 1 and 2 fifth hours on Friday and 1 and 1 half hours on Saturday. On Sunday, she spent all her time playing. Did Mary reach her 3 hour study goal in a week? Is she right not to study on Sunday? Okay, ngayon, gawan niya siya ng fraction strips. Another, Jan ran one half of a mile yesterday and three-fourths of a mile today. John said he ran one and one-fourth miles in all. Is he correct? Again, gawin niyo ang fraction strips. Now, for your assessment, you have to perform the indicated operation and express your answer in simplest form. Write your answers in your working notebook. So, multiple choice ito. Number 1 to number 7, you just need to add the, the, the similar fractions and then find the correct answer. And for items 8 to 10, you have to evaluate the fraction and you need to show the complete solution. So that is number number 8, 9, and number 10. Do it in your notebook. Take your time. Okay, for your additional activities, 
What will you say when you meet two magical dwarves? So, ano? Add the fractions below. Match each answer to form a letter in the key box. Then write the letter in the space above its problem number to find the answer to the riddle. So, meron tayong 10 items. So, merong mga blank doon. Nauna si number 5. So, ang alagay yung letter dyan sa number 5 ay kung ano yung sagot sa number 5 at saan siya na letter na belong. And so on and so forth para ma-solve nyo po ang riddle. Okay, class? Thank you so much for watching the video. Maraming salamat sa susunod ulit. This is Sir Alan Madino, your master teacher. And I'm saying, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Alan Madino. God bless you!